everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina and today I am participating in the Look for Less Challenge. This is a home decor challenge. So the idea is to find a really expensive home decor um, item or look that you like and recreate that look for way less money. This uh, collab is hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door and co-hosted by Leonette from DIY Beauty on Purpose. So for this challenge, I am going with something that is more of organization for my kitchen, but also pretty. Um, I have been looking on Pinterest and Ikea and all of those places for some sort of a system to um, not have as much clutter on my counter. And so I've come across a lot of different wall hanging systems um, using either a rod or some sort of a, a grate or something that you put on the wall and then you can hang either baskets or hooks to try and have less things on your counter and to be able to organize the items that you do have in your kitchen. Now I won't say these things are crazy expensive, but if you want to order them online, they are definitely pricey. And so I thought, I'm pretty sure I can do this for a lot less money. And I already owned these wire panels. So after looking around, I thought, you know what, these wire panels are probably what I would pretty much be purchasing. So why don't I try and use these for the project and then see if I can get items that can hang or hook onto them. So I went to the dollar store here in Canada, so Dollarama. And I was able to find these wire baskets. So I found two kinds of baskets. These smaller ones for $2.50 each. And these bigger ones, I believe, were $4. They did have little handles on the side that we ended up taking off. But I thought that for the prices, they were exactly what I was looking for. Now, I will say the wire that I'm putting on the wall and the wire baskets, they're two different colors. So it's not maybe as beautiful as it could be. I'm sure I could paint it and all of that, but um, at this point it's more practicality. So um, these baskets are kind of a brown color and my wire on the wall is white, but I feel like the white wire kind of blends in with my wall color. So I think it's not hideous and for now it's going to do the job. So here's how we installed it and um, put it together and I think that it came out really nice. So first things first, we cleared off the counter and anything that was on the walls. Then my dad made these little clips to uh, screw onto the wall so that way we could get the grates to sit nicely against the wall. And then we figured out exactly where we wanted those to be uh, positioned and then my dad just screwed them on. The nice thing about using the small panels, um, it meant that I could position them around outlets or anything else that was already on the wall, um, whereas some of those bigger ones that you can buy in the store, they are nice, but you have to have the amount of space on your wall to fit them. Also a little behind the scenes, we also had a very willing helper, if you want to call it that. Does the bubble say that it's level? Once I figured out where I wanted the baskets, I used zip ties to secure them and just cut them so really it didn't look that bad and it kept it nice and strong and if I decide that I want them in a different place later, I can always just go and cut those and put new zip ties on. I tried to really use the baskets for things that would normally be on my counter. So one is kind of like takes the place of a fruit basket. Um, some was for coffee and tea. I used one as kind of a bread basket. Um, one for uh, things that you'd put on the bread. I had one for my uh, vitamins. So all of the things that normally I would find laying on my counter, I tried to include those things um, in these areas. 
My dad also helped make uh, little hooks that we could hang stuff on. And so that way I could hang things like the scissors and the oven mitts and pot holders, that kind of thing. So again, just to be able to have it in an easy to reach spot and to keep my counters from feeling uh, cluttered and dirty. Uh, here are some before clips just to give you an idea of just how far we've come and how big of a difference this makes in my kitchen. And here you have the finished product. I am so happy with how it turned out because I don't have a lot of counter space and this really utilizes space that I otherwise didn't really even use. I mean, I had a couple pictures hanging up. It's not like I really needed that wall space for something else. So this is going to help keep things organized. It also is nicely uh, visual. So things like the fruit, it doesn't go off if I can see it. If I have it in a basket where I don't see it, I'm quicker to forget that I have it there. Uh, or things like my vitamins, I will remember to take them if they're in a spot that I can see them every day. So this system works really well for me and I am so glad that I did it and I did it for so much less money. Okay, so let's talk money and how much I really saved. The baskets themselves uh, range in price online from anywhere from say $15 to $60, $70 per basket. I got four small baskets for $2.50 each and three big baskets for $4 each. So definitely a huge savings just in baskets alone. And then in regards to the grid or wire uh, racks that I had on the wall, those can range in price from say 30 to even $80, uh, depending obviously on the size and color and that kind of thing. But I ended up using five small panels and I already had those. I think they're part of like some sort of a system you can buy on Amazon. Uh, but either way, I definitely saved a lot of money on those as well. So it's hard for me to say what the exact amount is that I saved, but I would say that it's safe to say I saved a couple hundred dollars. I'd love to know in the comments below, do you have any tips or tricks of ways that you organize your kitchen? Um, is this something that you would do with your kitchen? Or do you have a better system? I'm always open for ideas and new ways to try and organize my life. So I have linked the playlist below for the other ladies that are participating in this challenge. Don't forget to check that out because there will be some really cool videos um, with some definite transformations from what would have been very expensive to something that was very affordable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out that playlist linked below. And if you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my channel. It is totally free. I do lots of thrifting, mom life, farm style vlogs, and lots more. If any of that sounds good, you can subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.